so go back again and tell me a quick story about what's going on with you uh when to start it again and everything like that uh your your shoulder pain okay so about three weeks ago maybe a little bit more around three weeks ago um i started having the shoulder pain um i thought it was like joint or nerve i wasn't really sure i was pretty convinced it was joint pain but um i start i started going back to the gym again and then i realized that i couldn't really do any um, chest presses, shoulder presses, but mainly it was shoulder presses. It was the upward motion of the shoulder press. And at that time, I just felt like a really deep pain inside my shoulder. Um, so I said, you know what, maybe I'll just take a break for a week or two. You know, over the holidays, I'll just relax. I went back to the gym um, maybe a couple of days before I saw you, and it was still there. It was still pain. Got it. Okay, good. All right, so let's take a look at some some movement patterns and see how we could, uh, you know, the, the, there's some good news here, some really good news. Uh, the good news is that, you know, the rule is that we explained to you that, I don't know if I explained this to you last time, but if it was, a, if it was truly a, a, a tendon or a tear of a tendon or a rip or a, or a muscle that's injured, um, you would have no power in your arm. You would not be able to hold your arm up against gravity. It would right. probably be painful um, when you took your arm way all the way out like that. Yeah. Like like throwing a baseball. And you okay. would probably have a lot of pain at in the mornings or or when you're resting on that arm, you're sleeping on it. Okay. So th those but are all the good signs. It's been good. It's been good. All right. So we're so that's wonderful. The the other good news is this. It's fantastic that uh, the fact that you don't that the fact that you were able to get results pretty quickly um it, very rapidly is a is a great sign and and let me see if i can explain this over 92 percent of people walking out there have pain and they think it's a bone or a muscle but actually it's been proven in the research that it's uh, it's just uh, a neurophysiological reflex which just basically means that your brain that's sending information down to that area of the body to literally protect it from moving in a certain position. So every time you twist, you move, you lift, your body, your brain literally says, hey, protect that area because there is some sort of old pattern, kind of like if you think of a virus, you know, okay. there's a virus and that virus doesn't want to turn off. The only way you can remove a virus is by putting an antivirus software on your phone or your computer. Your brain is like a computer. And when it has that pattern, it's every time you're going to go into that functional movement, it's going to say, hey, don't put load through that area. If you're going to load right. it or you're going to put pressure through it, I'm going to make you have pain to protect you. So uh -huh. what's happening is that this area of your body is not balanced. There's no symmetry there. You're kind of, avoid, okay. you're kind of avoiding it when you lift. You don't realize it, but when you're, when you're putting up weight, your, your, your body it cannot handle the load on the shoulder. And that, 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 that area gets turned off literally in your nervous system. So your body okay. goes into spasm there and that's to protect you. So how do we undo that? How do we turn a neurological reflex that's causing your okay. pain, not a muscle. If it was a muscle, you would still feel the pain. You wouldn't get better. You would, you would need to go get an x-ray or an MRI or something. So I'm convinced right. that right. this is some sort of a reflex that needs to be unlocked. We gotta, we gotta push through it a little bit more. You're, the other thing is, Two things that happen when people don't get better, and I'm going to say this to you, and I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on you, not me. Okay? okay. Number one, you're not doing the exercises enough to get the results, and okay. you're not doing the exercises enough in the dis in the distance or the end range movement that you need to get to to reset or reboot the brain. To get okay. that, to get the electricity to those muscles. Or you push through it, that's where the pain unlocks itself. And there's this like, kind of like, uh, almost like a breakthrough moment. The more you push to the end point, that's where the magic happens. The magic happens at the end point, at the end range position. So sometimes you need coaching. You need someone to be with you to kind of, kind of guide you to get to the end point position of that area to reload the system. And once you do... The window, the window of pain will stay. The pain, the window of pain relief will stay open longer. 
Okay. Did you ever get a massage and, and somebody massaged you or you massaged your own shoulder and it lasts and it feels really good when you're doing it, but like an hour later, you, you just feel tight again, right? Yeah. So why is that? Or put a hot pack or take a hot shower in the morning. You feel really good and loose and then boom, it locks up right. again. Why? Because the nervous system is plastic. It, it's like a rubber band. Right. As soon as you go out of that position again of what you were doing to relax the nervous system and the pain, the system starts back up again. It's just like if you bumped your elbow, what do you do? You kind of rub it. You make it feel good. But that's superficial and right. that's not active. The goal is for you to push yourself to the limit and to repeat. So there's two things you need to do to get results. Number one, you have to go to the endpoint position. And okay. number two, you have to do it more often throughout the day, especially in the first 48 hours, the first two days. Why is that? When you do it the first 48 hours, that's where that the massive bombardment of the nervous system starts. You're actually putting new input into your brain, almost like a wiring, like a rewiring. Think about it. You're telling your brain, hey, brain, you stopped using this area in the body. Every time I, I use it, you cause me pain. It protects. The muscles shut down, right? They go into right. inhibition. It's almost like a light switch. It's a protective mechanism. How do you turn that on and keep it on? How do you keep the window of relief open longer? You have to repeat the motion over and over again to reboot it and, and keep it there. These are called resets for a reason. All right, so let, let's um, let's uh, do a technique right now that's going to a reset, so to speak. Um, how about you go down to the floor and um, let's try to do some push-ups, some knuckle push-ups, and see how many you can do before you start to get the pain, all right? All right. Uh, maybe do it in a decline fashion. So put your feet on a, um, on a chair or okay. something. Or uh, whatever, or even do a handstand. Can you do a handstand? Uh, on a hand, yeah, I can do a handstand. So yeah, that is going to use all your weight. It's going to really tell us <laughs> if we're going to help you or not. You know what I mean? It's using, it's military press basically. Yeah, it's, it's exactly. It's a body, press. it's a body military press. You know, a lot of cross, a lot of CrossFitters do that now. You know. Yeah, I know, hundred percent. So I think that that's going to be a great test for us to see if this is going to help. It's, it's exactly a military press. Hey, I could see the camera, no problem. Wow, you're pretty strong, man. Okay, are you having any pain with that? Yeah, my right side. Okay, come back up. Okay, can you press, does it hurt when you press up? A little bit. Oh, so when do you feel it? Tell me in the range of movement. When when does it happen? On the way down or on the way up? On the way up, really. On the way up, up is which way? When you when you actually up. made your arm straight? Yeah. Got it. Got it. Okay. So that's a test. Now, on a scale of 1 to 10, how bad is it when you do that? Um, it's like in here. Um, okay. A scale of 1 to 10. Like, do you feel it right now when you do that? Right now? Like right now. Is it gone right now or only when you did it yeah, then? Yeah, it's gone right now. Okay. On a scale of 1 to 10, what would you say? Let me try it one more time, yeah? Okay, go for it. Right there you have pain, right? Now I barely feel it, though. Interesting. The second time around, you didn't feel it? Yeah, barely. You know what that tells me? What? It tells me that when you kick in your your thoracic spine in an unloaded fashion, check this out. When you're doing a military, your job is to use more shoulders. When you're doing a reverse military, when you're using your press, your thoracic spine, your, your middle back and your neck have to do some stability work. Right. And they're like in an unloaded position. They're gravity eliminated. That makes perfect sense. So they're they're kind of like active at that point. They're doing their job easier. Here, right. here, these guys don't know what to do, the middle back muscles. But right. in a flip position, it's like they're 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 actually activated in a more calm position and right. they're they're more able to connect. I wish I had some, some weights to try out. We don't need the weights. We're gonna be able to fix this without that. I just wanted to see that. So I already have a solution for this. So that's okay. the one thing. 
Um, let me try one thing with you. Go go back onto the all fours position. Go into your all fours position, just like on the floor, like a dog. Now, put your hand behind your neck on the right side. Just behind your neck. Let's, like, yeah. No, it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Just like that. Put your hand on. Yeah. And now twist your twist your elbow up to the ceiling. Keep your neck tucked. Okay. Good. And then, yep. And then go and do the other side, please. You know what? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Turn turn and face me. Yeah. I want to see this because this is where your problem is right here. You you have no thoracic mobility in an unloaded in an unloaded fashion. Your your mobility to get rotation is not coming from your thorax, your upper like upper bit middle spine. It's just coming from your lower back. So right. we got to train that mobility and rotation. That's that's why you got better with this. Okay. Because you have none of that. You just don't. Right. Everything's happening from your lower back. When you're twisting, you're literally doing this with your lower back. Nothing's happening with your neck and your and your shoulders. That's your problem. All right. Okay. Let's try do the same thing hand behind the neck. And then just stay right there and now twist only from your thorax. Good. All the way up, 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 up. Keep your keep your nose pointing down, so at the floor. Like so, don't use your neck. Just just your elbow turns. You know, like your middle back. Good, good. And now switch to the other side. No, no, no. I mean, like, twist your whole thoracic spine, your whole like rib cage up all the way. Turn, turn all the way up. Yeah. Don't look at me. Yep. Yeah. That's all back. You're like tilting. Okay. So do the other side again, the right side. Oh, yeah, you are just a big cheater there. All right, put your hand behind your back like you're reaching behind your back, like you're scratching your back before. You remember that one we did before? Yeah. Okay, tuck your chin a little bit and then do the same thing. Do a twist to the, to the right, all the way. Oh, yeah, okay. Now do the same concept on the left. And twist to the left. Yeah, there's your problem, man. Okay, so here's how we're gonna attack this thing. First and foremost, we're gonna attack the shoulder with, an, with a manipulation. So we're gonna try doing a shoulder manipulation. It's called a shoulder whip. Remember I showed you the, uh, the thoracic whip, which is rotations? Yeah. Really easy to do this one. So all you need to do is stand up. You, you can see me in the camera, right? Yeah. Take your right hand. Just like that. And literally imagine there's like, think of a, a fly swatter. You ever see somebody swat a fly? Like exactly. Let your arm like, just be really soft. Let your arm kind of swing like, like a pendulum. Like nice and soft, relaxed. Keep your elbow relaxed, straight. Okay, now all you're gonna do is whip it back. 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 Good. As fast as you can. Almost like the thoracic twisting ones. Yeah, a whip, a fast whip. Good. Good. So keep your t chin tucked, your back straight, stand up nice and tall, and all I want to see is momentum. Okay, like imagine someone like behind you who you don't like and you want to hit him in the nose really fast. Just whip it, make it whip like fast. Keep momentum going. Good. Get all the way to the range of motion, end of the range of motion. Good. Five more. One, two, all the way back. You're not getting far back enough. Three, four, five. Good. Stop. All right. Now, try, turn around and try to reach behind your back with that shoulder again. Reach for the other shoulder blade. See if it's any better. Yeah, yeah. it is. Good. That's what we needed. Okay, good. Now, take your left hand. No, stay with me. Stay with me. Take your left, no, your left hand and, and pull it up towards the left shoulder blade. So do that what you did before. No, take your right hand and reach for your, for your no, your right hand, your right hand. Yes. Now, use your other hand to assist. Okay, pull, pull the wrist over, over, and up. Yeah, all the way up. Now sit up nice and tall, sit up nice and tall. Good, and stretch it. Push, push, push with that left hand. I want you to push until you can't push any further. Hold it for two seconds and then down. And just keep repeating over and over again. You activate the right shoulder and then use your left hand to assist to the end range. Keep going, good. All the way up. So across and up, higher as you can. Keep going a little further. I'm sorry, I'm gonna yep. take over my bracelets. 
All the way. Ready? Across and up. Up, up, up. Go. Good. A couple more times. Across and up. Keep going. Across. All the way up. Push, 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 push until you can't push any further. Get that index finger to touch the top of that shoulder as far as you can. Keep going. Good. And down. And repeat. Let the right arm do the work. So down and across. Keep going. Across and over. Keep going. Across. Pull it across, across, and up. Keep your back straight. Keep your back straight. A little higher. Keep going. Keep the back straight. I want to see the back straight. Tuck that chin. Good. And down. Good. And repeat it. All the way. Further each time. A little bit more each time. Keep going. Wow. You feel a burn? Yeah, but I feel the pain a little also. You feel some pain? Okay. Only when you do it or afterwards as well? Okay, rest for a second. You feel it afterwards as well? A little bit. Okay, stop. Let it rest. See if you can shake it off. Did you shake like it off? Right now, when I lift my hands up, uh -huh. and I'm reaching up, I feel it a little bit now. Okay, that's a red light. Okay. Okay, stop that. Let, let it rest. Tell me when it's over. Okay. It's gone? Like, when I'm up here, and uh -huh. I'm pulling my elbow, uh -huh. I feel that part. Okay. Got it. So that that's a red okay. light. Okay, now it's gone? Yeah. Mm, okay. Try to do this a few times and tell me if you feel it. Militaries. A little bit. Okay, stop. Stop. Okay, let's do let's do more of those whipping exercises. That didn't cause you pain, right? No. Okay, just do the whips. And nothing more than the whips, okay? So just go ahead and whip it back. All the way. Back. As far as you can. Good. Let's do 20. Try to loosen it up. Good. All the way back. All the way back. All the way back. Keep going. Let the elbow relax and just whip it back. All the way back. Keep going. A few more. Three more. One. Two. Three. Okay. Now, stop. See how it feels now. Try to do some militaries. Yeah, I'm okay. You feel okay with, with that? Slightly less discomfort. That's good. That's a good sign. Okay. So now, let's do this. Um, let's do this one. Okay. So now what I want you to do Take your right hand, okay, and if you look at my hand like, exactly like that, imagine that you have a ball that you're going to catch, and that ball is like a basketball, and it's, you're going to catch it right behind your back each time. Catch it right behind your – exactly. Catch it right behind your back. Now, all the way, I want you to hook it behind your back all the way, all the way. Yep. Exactly, like a little hook. Good. All right? So you're just going to hook and catch the ball behind your back. Now, at the same time, I want you to tilt your ear to your opposite shoulder. So you're going to do this kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. Now, look at what I'm doing. Check it out. I'm actually yeah. bringing my shoulder down. I'm bringing my shoulder down and squeezing my shoulder blade, and then I'm tilting away. I'm tilting away. I'm tilting away. I'm going to feel a stretch at my neck. You're going to feel it in your neck, and you're going to feel it right here in the back where the triceps are. You're going to feel that right here at that cut right there. You feel it? Okay. Now I need I you to... I feel it stretching. I feel a stretch here. Perfect. That's, ex that's exactly where you want to feel it. It's very important to imagine to get your shoulder blade down and back and really try to get a stretch on it. I want you to really, really dig. Imagine you're scooping each time, further and further each time. Go a, a little bit further each time, a little bit more until you can't go any further. 
Really try to get to that point where you just feel like it's locked and you need to crack through. Break through the pain. That's it. Keep that shoulder blade down. Good. Squeezing that shoulder blade down into your back pocket as you bring your hand up towards the ceiling. Good. You feel that stretch there? It gets stronger as you do it. Good. Keep going. Good. Three more. This time, try now. Try now to straighten your elbow as you do it. See? Now, get your elbow straight and really tilt your head over. Good. That's it. Get your elbow locked out. Good. And your thumb pointing up to the ceiling. Good. Get the shoulder blade pointing down. Good. Three more. All the way to the end point. Good. As far as you can. Load it up. Dig that shoulder blade down. Good. You feeling it? Two more. Yeah. One. And last one. Two. Good. Excellent. Like shake it out and see how you feel now. Oof. All right. Now, try, turn around and see if you can reach behind your back this time. Wow. I kind of feel more, less stiff on this side. Now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, reach all the way up now and tell me how you feel. How does it feel now? Better. Good. Awesome. Good. All right. Let's repeat. Let's repeat. The whipping exercise five more times. Keep going. Okay. Let's do like five more whips. Doing this tightened up my forearms. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what we just did was we stretched the nerve on that right shoulder. That's why you felt it right in that spot. You said, I feel it right, right there. That was the exact spot where your nerve is trapped. All right. So go ahead and uh, yeah, do some whips all the way. Really try to whip it back there like you're trying to hit something. Good. All the way back. Whip it. Good. Perfect. Keep going. A few more. Boom. Boom. All the way back. Let it go. Good. 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 One more time. Excellent. Now shake it off. See how you feel. Kind of do a couple of military. See how you feel. Nice. Feels a little looser. I still slightly feel like I want to crack it. Okay. We're not done yet. All yeah. right. The next one we're going to do, we're, what we're trying to do is we're trying to load up that thoracic spine enough to unlock the nerve that's trapped in that shoulder. And then, boom, it's going to unlock itself. You're going to feel really good after this. Okay. okay. So the next one we're going to do is... Let's try, okay, let's try this one. So sit down. On so just, chair? yeah, yeah, facing me, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, we're going to do a rib cage stretch, okay? So bring the, bring the camera down a little bit towards your belly, belly button. Perfect. Now, look at my hands, all right? Take your fingers, make a claw. Put them underneath your rib cage. Really go underneath those rib cages like you're trying to break your rib cage. How would you do that? You'd move all the meat away. Move all the meat away. Hold your rib cage tight. And now you see my elbows, they're pointing outwards. Okay? And I'm gonna take a deep right. breath, take a deep breath in. As you breathe in, hook your fingers even deeper underneath your rib cage. It's gonna feel kind of tight and pokey in there. It's gonna feel a little tender. It's okay. Really breathe in, hold your rib cage, and when you breathe out, keep holding your rib cage, pointing your elbows out, and bend all the way down, letting your air out as you go down. And you'll feel a stretch underneath the rib cage muscles. You feel that? So when you come up, hold the rib cage, and out. Good. Let all the air out as you come down. Keep holding the rib cage, almost like you're trying to break your ribs open. All the way down to the end of the range of movement. Keep going. Good. So we're going to repeat that about 10 times. Good. Like, try to get your head between your feet, between your knees, so to speak. Okay? Oh, you have okay. pain with that? No, it just burns in the back. That's all. It's okay. The burning is fine. It means you're releasing the nerve, okay? So really hook, hook your fingers underneath the rib cage muscles. Take a deep breath in and almost try to bow your elbows out. 
to the sides, like to the two walls, like you're trying, yes, like you're trying to break your ribs open and breathe out hard as you go down all the way. Let all your air out. You're going to feel a stretch underneath your rib cage, right underneath that diaphragm. Good. This is one of the best stretches for the thoracic spine. It opens up your middle back like crazy. Wow. It's a lot of work. A lot of work. They look easy, right? But they're not. Not at all. It's harder than going to the gym, right? Yeah. Breathe out hard. Good. Good. We'll do we'll, we'll do two more, okay? Are you are you a little winded? Good. And out. Let it all the way out. Good. All right. Uh, How you doing? It's a burn on my rear delts, you know. Yeah, I'm, yeah. You're you're opening it up, man. That's that's great. That's fantastic. Good. One more. And breathe out hard. Good. Nice. Excellent. Good. All right. Take a little break. Walk it off a little bit. See how you feel. I feel like getting a sick shoulder massage. <laughs> right. Better than a shoulder massage, right? It's loosening everything up. Wow, you're pretty strong, man. Okay, are you have any pain with that? Yeah, my right side. Okay, come back up. Okay, can you press, does it hurt when you press up? A little bit. Oh, so when do you feel it? Tell me in the range of movement, when when does it happen? On the way down or on the way up? On the way up, really. On the way, up, up is which way? When you, when you actually up. made your arm straight? Yeah. Got it, got it, okay. So that's a test. Now, on a scale of one to 10, how bad is it when you do that? Um, it's like in here. Um, okay, a scale of one to ten. Like, do you feel it right now when you do that? Right now. Like right now, is it gone right now, or only when you did it yeah, then? Yeah, it's gone right now. Okay. On a scale of one to ten, what would you say? Let me try it one more time. Yeah. Okay, go for it. Right there, you have pain, right? Now I barely feel it, though. Interesting. At the second time around, you didn't feel it? Yeah, barely. Huh. You know what that tells me? What? It tells me that when you kick in your, your thoracic spine in an unloaded fashion, check this out. When you're doing a military, your job is to use more shoulders. When you're doing a reverse military, when you're using your press, your thoracic spine, your, your middle back and your neck have to do some stability work. Right. And they're like in an unloaded position. They're gravity eliminated. That makes perfect sense. So they're, they're kind of like active at that point. They're doing their job easier. Here, right. here, these guys don't know what to do, the middle back muscles. But right. in a flip position, it's like they're, they're, they're actually activated in a more calm position and right. they're, they're more able to connect. I wish I had some weights to try out. We don't need the weights. We're going to be able to fix this without that. I just wanted to see that. So I already have a solution for this. So that's okay. the one thing. Um, let me try one thing with you. Go go back onto the all fours position. Go into your all fours position, just like on the floor, like a dog. Now, put your hand behind your neck on the right side. Just behind your neck. Like, like, yeah. No, it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Just like that. Put your hand on. Yeah. And now twist your twist your elbow up to the ceiling. Keep your neck tucked. Okay, good. And then. Good. Yep. And then go and do the other side, please. You know what? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Turn turn and face me. Yeah, I want to see this because this is where your problem is right here. You're you have no thoracic mobility in an unloaded in an unloaded fashion. Your your mobility to get rotation 
is not coming from your thorax, your upper, like upper bit, middle spine. It's just coming from your lower back. So right. we got to train that mobility and rotation. That's, that's why you got better with this. Okay. Because you have none of that. You just don't. Right. Everything's happening from your lower back. When you're twisting, you're literally doing this with your lower back. Nothing's happening with your neck and your, and your shoulders. That's your problem. All right. Okay. Let's try do the same thing hand behind the neck. And then just stay right there. And now twist only from your thorax. Good. All the way up, 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 up. Keep your, keep your nose pointing down So at the floor. Like, so don't use your neck. Just, just your elbow turns, you know, like your middle back. Good. Good. And now switch to the other side. No, no, no. I mean, like, twist your whole thoracic spine, your whole, like, rib cage up all the way turn turn all the way up yeah don't look at me yep yeah that's all back you're like tilting okay so do the other side again the right side oh yeah you are just a big cheater there all right put your hand behind your back like you're reaching behind your back like you're scratching your back before you remember that one we did before yeah. okay tuck your chin a little bit and then do the same thing do a twist to the to the right all the way oh yeah Okay, now do the same concept on the left. And twist to the left. Yeah, there's your problem, man. Okay, so here's how we're going to attack this thing. First and foremost, we're going to attack the shoulder with, an, with a manipulation. So we're going to try doing a shoulder manipulation. It's called a shoulder whip. Remember I showed you the, uh, the thoracic whip, which is rotations? Yeah. Really easy to do this one. So all you need to do is stand up. You, you can see me in the camera, right? Yeah. Take your right hand just like that. And literally imagine there's like, think of a, a fly swatter. You ever see somebody swat a fly? Like exactly. Let your arm like, just be really soft. Let your arm kind of swing like, like a pendulum, like nice and soft, relax. Keep your elbow relaxed, straight. Okay. Now all you're going to do is whip it back, whip it back, whip it back, whip it back. Whip it back. Good. As fast as you can. Almost like the thoracic twisting ones. Yeah, a whip. A fast whip. Good. Good. So keep your chin tucked, your back straight. Stand up nice and tall. And all I want to see is momentum. Okay, like imagine someone like behind you who you don't like and you want to hit him in the nose really fast. Just whip it. Make it whip like fast. Keep momentum going. Good. Get all the way to the range of motion. End of the range of motion. Good. Five more. One, two, all the way back. You're not getting far back enough. Three, four, five. Good. Stop. All right. Now, try, turn around and try to reach behind your back with that shoulder again. Reach for the other shoulder blade. See if it's any better. Yeah, yeah. it is. Good. That's what we needed. Okay, good. Now, take your left hand. No, stay with me. Stay with me. Take your left, no, your left hand and, and pull it up towards the left shoulder blade. So, do that what you did before. No. Take your right hand and reach for your for your no, your right hand. Your right hand. Yes. Now use your other hand to assist. Okay. Pull pull the wrist over. Over and up. Yeah. All the way up. Now sit up nice and tall. Sit up nice and tall. Good. And stretch it. Push, push, push with that left hand. I want you to push until you can't push any further. Hold it for two seconds and then down. And just keep repeating over and over again. You activate the right shoulder and then use your left hand to assist to the end range. Keep going. Good. All the way up. So across and up. Higher as you can. Keep going. A little further. I'm sorry. I'm going to yep. take over my bracelets. All the way. Ready? Across and up. Up, up, up. Go. Good. A couple more times. Across and up. Keep going. Across. All the way up. Push, 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 push until you can't push any further. Get that index finger to touch the top of that shoulder as far as you can. Keep going. Good. And down. And repeat. Let the right arm do the work. So down and across. Keep going. Across and over. Keep going. Across. Pull it across, across, and up. Keep your back straight. Your back straight, a little higher. Keep going. Keep the back straight. I want to see the back straight. Tuck that chin. Good. And down. 
Good. And repeat it. All the way. Further each time. A little bit more each time. Keep going. Wow. You feel a burn? Yeah, but I feel the pain a little also. You feel some pain? Okay. Only when you do it or afterwards as well? Okay. Rest for a second. You feel it afterwards as well? A little bit. Okay. Stop. Let it rest. See if you can shake it off. Did you shake like it off? Right now, when I lift my hands up, uh -huh. and I'm reaching up, I feel it a little bit now. Okay, that's a red light. Okay. Okay, stop that. Let, let it rest. Tell me when it's over. Okay. It's gone? Like, when I'm up here, and uh -huh. I'm pulling my elbow, uh -huh. I feel that part. Okay. Got it. So that that's a and red okay. light. Okay, now it's gone? Yeah. Mm, okay. Try to do this a few times and tell me if you feel it. Militaries. A little bit. Okay, stop. Stop. Okay, let's do let's do more of those whipping exercises. That didn't cause you pain, right? No. Okay, just do the whips. And nothing more than the whips, okay? So just go ahead and whip it back. All the way. Back. As far as you can. Good. Let's do 20. Try to loosen it up. Good. All the way back. All the way back. All the way back. Keep going. Let the elbow relax and just whip it back. All the way back. Keep going. A few more. Three more. One. Two. Three. Okay. Now. Yeah, that's right. good. Okay. So it's this. So I'm gonna show you from the side view. Tuck, tuck your chin. Hold it, and then go all the way back. And then wiggle. Little wiggles at the end. Good. Really try to hang your neck there. Good. How's that feel? You okay with that? Yeah. Okay. You got to get all the way to the end of the range. This is the most important one. Good, 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 good. Keep going. Head up. Look look at the wall behind you with your eyes. Stay there. Let it hang. And then a little wiggles. Good. A little more. A little more. A little more. And come back. Good. Good. Repeat. Good. Further each time. A little bit more. A little bit more. Further. Further. More than you thought you could before. A little bit more than you thought you could before. A little push. Good. Wiggles. Good. Now tuck the chin with your hand and come back slowly. We're going to make the push a little harder now, okay? Now take your hand and put it over, like make a gun hand, almost like a pistol grip, right over your jaw. Get your elbow pointing straight at the camera and go straight back. Almost like a pie face, like someone's going to push a pie in your face. Good. All the way. Push back and wiggles. Good. Little wiggles. Good. Good. Come back. We're going to do two more with that same position. So, pie face, tuck, and wiggles. All the way back. Really try to get there. Good. Nice. Nice. Excellent. All right. One more. All the way. Really try to get to the end of the range of motion until you can't get any further. Further, further. A little bit more. A little bit more. Really push, push, push. Come on. Good. Come back. Okay. This time I'm going to give you another one. Good. Okay. Come back. This time I'm going to give you one more. This one is you're going to take your hand and make like, you ever see like, a, like a, what do you call it? The lions, how they grab their children. They pull them up by the skin and, and walk around with them. So you're going to pull up the extra yeah. skin behind your neck up to the ceiling, and that'll help you get further into the range. So pull up the skin, tuck the chin, and then hold it there, and then little wiggles. All right? So go ahead. So pull up the skin to the ceiling, up, and tuck the chin with your hand, and then get all the way back there. This time you'll be able to get even more further. All the way. Keep going. A little further. All the way back. Good. Little wiggles. 
Good. Wiggles to the right. More to the right. Wiggles to the right. Let it fall to the right a little bit. Excellent. Good. Sit up. Okay. And last one is tuck the chin and lean to the same side of the paint with the head, with the ear. Why the same side? Very interesting. What that does is it reloads that joint, that area, that joint, the, that, that, that upper back where your problem is has not loaded. It doesn't know how to work. I know you feel r relief or you feel a instant relief like that, like a stretch, like, oh, I need a stretch. On the contrary, when you do that stretch, you know what you do? It's like taking a rubber band and you're stretching that rubber band and telling the brain, oh my gosh, you're overstretching that area again. Okay, I'm going to make more pain. People think they feel better when they stretch because it feels really good because you're moving skin. But that feeling of stretching is like a massage. It doesn't last long. It actually yeah. activates more. Um, there's these things called mechanoreceptors. Mechanoreceptors are like these little like pressure pressure center sensors in the skin. The skin is like the largest organ in your body. It is the largest organ. And it has these mechanoreceptors, these pressure gauges, okay? When you compress them in the same direction, it kind of squeezes them and tells the brain that it's safe. Think about it this way. If someone punched you really hard in your ear, what would you do? You'd do that, right? You would go protect it. Right. If someone punched you in your elbow, you'd protect it. When you go, if someone punched you in your ear or your elbow, you're not gonna go this way and stretch no. it. And that's what you're doing you when you like stretch. Yeah, you'd go like that to coddle it. Gotcha. This helps, it takes the skin and it slackens it, takes the pressure off those mechanoreceptors and changes the brain's output to the area. So tuck your chin gotcha. really hard, tuck your chin really hard. Good, and then tilt to the same side. So it's this, and then all the way over. Good, all the way. Bring your ear to the right shoulder as far as you can, a little bit further. Good. Now, use your right eyeball and look at your right elbow with that eyeball. Good. Look at that right what elbow. Look at with your right eyeball. Try to look at your right elbow at the same time. Really try to get all the way to the end of the range of movement. Further, 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 further. More, more, more. Good. Do two more. Good. Tuck and, and pull to the right. Sit up nice and tall. Really try to get there. Even more than you thought you can get before even more than you thought you can get before. Really try to get that ear to the shoulder. Good, keep that chin tuck and look at that elbow. Good, you got it. Get a little bit further, further. Good, a little bit more this time. Good, come back up. Okay, this is the last one. Tuck, 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 tuck. And this is the furthest one, more than you now ever thought. Shoulder down, right? Yeah. Shoulder down. Yeah, so it's this. This time, go more than you thought you could go before the last one. The last one. This is your last one. Get there. A little bit more. Just get there. Get there. Look at your elbow. Really try to go there. Good. All the way. Good. And come back. Good. You can stand up, take a little walk, mm -hmm. and try to move it around a little bit. See how you feel. Good. Now, try to reach behind your back. See how that range of movement is. Try not to use the good hand to pull. See how you can do with only the bad hand to reach for that other side. Much, much better, man. What a difference. You see that? Yeah. Wow, huge. Without my, without my support. Tremendous. Now, over the top. Can you bring it up, to the, up, up and over like that? How does that look when you did this one? Remember before? You had a heart, you felt like it needed to pop. That's better. A little bit better. Not bad. Now pull it over with the good hand. See if it feels like it still needs to pop. Remember? You went like this? Not, not so much. Do you feel like it still needs to pop? No, not at all. Okay, how do you feel now? Great. Okay, good. Now, one, like needs to... one last exercise. Remember the dog position where you on your okay, go into that position. Now we're gonna do what they call neuromuscular re-education. It's retraining the movement that you lost. I, 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 can, okay. I, can no, I cannot emphasize this enough. You've lost this movement. If you don't go ahead and mobilize at the gym, like I showed you, two or three of these exercises, and then to retrain this, you can military press all day. You'll never have relief because this muscle needs to kick. This is your okay. number one exercise right here. You have to train this. Okay? okay, so 
hands uh, hands behind your back, reach behind your back like you did in standing before, all the way to the other shoulder blade, and just spin to the right. Tuck the chin and spin. All the way, all the way, all the way. You don't have to look at me. Just keep spinning. More. Looks a little bit better than it did before. And look at the mobility. It's much, much better. Good. Try to lead with the hand, with the uh, the shoulder, I mean. So you're leading with the shoulder. When I say leading, you know. Am I? You, yeah, no, I'm saying try to lead with your, your, your shoulder and your elbow and twist with your trunk, not your neck. Yeah. Good. Your trunk. Yeah, your, your upper back. That's where you want to train it. Good. And come back. Again. Keep that hand up there. Good. Keep going all the way up. All the way. Good. And come back down. And repeat it about th two, three more times. Good. All the way. A little further. So the, the, when I say further, I mean try to connect it because you just don't know how to activate it at the end point. That's where you lose it. You're good here. <laughs> I mean, if you were to do some military, you're good here, but you're not good when you get... Notice what happens when you do militaries, right? When you're here, you're good. It's when you do this, this has to go up. You, you're not getting there. So you've got to train that up position. Get it? Let's do a yeah. couple on the left side now. Do a few on the left. Same thing. So tuck the chin and twist. All the way. Okay, wow, you're still uh, really, really screwed up on that left side. Okay, put your left hand behind your neck and try that. Good. And then, yeah, let's just do it that way. Try to keep your body nice and straight. Good. Perfect. Better, better, better. And look up. Use your ear to look at your left shoulder, too. Good, good. A little better. Good. More. Good. Three more. Good. Keep going. Awesome. One more time. All right, you ready to do a press? Yeah. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's give it a run. Does your arm hurt right now or you're okay? You having any pain at this moment? No. Good. All right, let's give it a run. Pain? Uh huh? Was there any pain? No, no. Zero pain. Not really. Not really, no.